I'm Tintin57, welcome back to the channel and another tourist bus simulator video. And today I thought we'd have a look at free play. We looked at the career mode in the first look, uh, but let's look at free play. Uh, just on the back of yesterday's video, where we looked at all the buses that were available for you to drive, I thought it'd be worthwhile just going into free play and just looking up custom routes. Uh, and how you set one of those up, how you choose the bus, the weather, etc. And then what we'll do is we'll set up a short run um, and then we'll we'll run that. We'll try and go course to course, left to right, I think. So back at this top menu, of course, you want to choose free play. Um, then you get the, the main splash screen. So what we want to do is we want to go into new game. Uh, and this is the screen that you saw yesterday. Um, I've got two routes now set up, two different versions of going top to bottom. Those are the long ones we're going to do in a live. But for now, let's interact with the map. I thought we would go from a joy. I'm going to call it a joy. I don't really know how to pronounce that one. We'll go from a joy. We'll go through Payara. And we'll come down to the coast here at Grand Tarahal. So it's course to course, left to right. We'll try and set that one up. Uh, I'll just zoom back out again so you can see where that is on the main map. You can see we're going from where the cursor is there down to the down to the bottom on the right hand side. So um, the first thing we need to do is if we press um, square, we'll get uh, this option here. Um, I'm going to change this to be route number three because I've got two set up already. So I'm just using the right triggers for that. If I just press square now, um, you may not be able to see this, but it's given me the option to type up on the screen. So I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it coast to coast, which has got that typed in there. And now what we need to do is is put in the stops and you can see the distance and travel time uh, will be automatically calculated down there on the on the left hand side so if i interact with the map you interact with the map with triangle this is if you're on playstation 5 uh, just use the equivalent button to that on uh, on xbox of course um <clears throat> zoom in with r1 and what you can see is you can see the bus stops these h's are all are all bus stops and these are the selectable points you can put in the planner so we're of course going to start from here so if you hover around there you'll get you'll get the bus stop once that appears once that gray box appears if you just press x it adds that to the stops list on the left hand side so if i just zoom out slightly we can track our route so ayara is the next one let's add that La Canada will go there. And then our next one will be the final one, which is Grand Tarahayal. So let's put that one in. So that's our route. Going from one side of the map to the other one. Uh, it's saying it will take us 53 minutes. I don't know if that's real time or not. I, I've not done enough yet to know if that's real time, but we'll, we'll see as we go. Um, if you notice down the bottom left hand corner there of the map the return trip is ticked and it always defaults to that if you only want to do a single trip whilst you're interacting with the map just press the square button or the equivalent you see it takes the tick on and off so that just means we're going we're going one way so if i then stop interacting with the map and i press x to save it you can see now it's added the route to the top so i've got three routes now one two and three so what we want to do now is we want to choose the route and we want to get into the bus that we want set the weather etc etc so let's do that so all you do is highlight it just press x and it brings you into this into this screen so you can choose any of the available buses as i said yesterday so you know just pick your manufacturer um, and then once in, you can pick your 
vehicle model. Don't forget if you want to also, as we saw yesterday, you want to set your livery, you can do that. Um, I think I will go with this bus, but what I will do is, uh, let me pick, let's go with the red and white, because I do like this one. So I just click to accept that. And then what we can do is you can you can change the date and the time that you're setting off in this first little calendar screen. The second option there is to pick the weather. So you can see right now we've got a choice of four different weather options. There's two on the right which are greyed out. Now that might be because this is pre-release. That may be the reason for that. They may come at a later stage. Um, so there are those options there, so we'll just go with Sun, just for the purposes of demonstration. Um, and then this button will let you use which controls. So, so in the main game, you have your control set how you want it, arcade, realistic or customised. In the free play, it lets you set that per route, if you like. So I've been experimenting with realistic, we'll do a separate video on that because the the realistic control system is a little bit fiddly it brings up a, a type of wheel um, that, that you use to set all these different options below it can be a bit tricky so i'm going to do a separate video on that i think today just for this we'll stick to arcade so let's go with arcade and then once that's set up all we need to do is actually start the route so let's click x and start And it should put us at our, our first stop, which it does. Everyone's getting on. And we can just have a look around at this bus. If you want to get used to the map, um, you want to get used to how the roads are, the turns, etc, etc. You know, start with one of these buses. I think it's worth doing that. Some of these, some of these turns are quite tight. You saw that on the first look video. There's a couple of times where I was clipping cars. I mean, that wasn't always my fault. Um, but it might be worth starting with one of these if you want to get in and just enjoy it. The other thing I've done since the last video where we saw the actual routes themselves, I've turned the level of AI down to 75% because I was experiencing just off stream, I was experiencing lots and lots of traffic jams when it was at 100%. So I thought we'll turn it down a little bit and we'll see how we get on with that. So, you can see the sign over there. We are in a joy. Right on the coast. We're going from one coast to the other, right across. So, let's jump in now. So, because I've got the controls on arcade, uh, what it will do is it starts the engine for us, it also shuts the doors, etc. So, we don't need to do any of that. So, I'll get the indicators on and we'll start making our way. And we'll just see how long this one takes. So, it told us 54 minutes. Let's see if that is uh, real time. And I wanted you to see a different area of the game that we've looked at, looked at so far in the first look. I do believe, by the way, a fix is coming for the popping scenery, so if you're concerned about the popping scenery, maybe wait until the game's released and the patch comes out, um, and then you can have a look at that and see what you think. Let's go to the outside view, because I don't want to hit anybody. Quite a steep hill there, going down to the beach. Right, let's go. It's so tight, some of these angles here. Much easier in this bus, we're just leaving AJ now for a joy. We we'll keep switching views. These tight mountain roads are uh, pretty interesting. So 
we've done a couple of videos you've probably watched some content elsewhere as well i imagine if you're planning to to get this but what are your what are your thoughts so far do you think this will be a a, a day one purchase for you listen to the other content providers they've also had information um, from Aerosoft that this would be released on the 14th but they're also of the opinion it could be the 12th either way by this time next week you should have it in your hands I would say which is good so we're making our way here to this junction actually I didn't anticipate that very well let's just double check We've got some people coming down the hill from the right, we don't want to hit them. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is traffic AI at 75%. Just to make it a little bit less cluttered. But you can scale that up or down as much as you want. Here. This is this is Pahara. We do have a stop here, I believe. There it is. So let's make our first stop. So this bus has not got many seats, so I don't know if we're going to run into any problems with uh, getting people on board. But let's let's see. So the doors are open. You can see there it puts up a little a little mirror showing people getting in. Um, that's the other thing I wanted to mention as well in the settings. Can you see in the top, top left and right, I have put in the setting that lets you have the mirror panels there. So you can go with the real, the real mirrors, the real bus mirrors, that you can see there, left and right. But there is also a setting there to put those at the top. I quite, I prefer having those. Um, depends what bus you're driving, I would say. But I have got those there. Right. Put the indicator on we'll get away to our next stop. So right. I need to be a bit easier on the brakes because there is that there is that skidding noise when I put the brakes on. That could be me putting too much brake force on at one at one time. So there's the two minibuses in the game, they're actually quite nippy, quite zippy actually. So they're not difficult to drive. But it's good for getting you used to how the game works and how the controls work etc. And just the layout of the map generally. So if you remember in the first look, we chose, we had to choose a bus to begin with. Whoa, that's a big hill. Everybody's stomach just went in the mouth. Um, you'll remember that um, we, we chose a bus to begin with. I went for one of the, the sort of bigger buses that you can get. But you may want to start your career in one of these and just gradually work your way up. That might be worth doing. It's down to personal choice and just how much experience you've already had with uh, bus simulators, etc. So I'm just putting slight brake on, then I don't skid the brakes. It does work. I think we can go on to here. I'm trying to stay in lane as best I can and avoid accidents. So that distant scenery is very good. I can't complain about that, it's just this, this popping in the foreground which will be fixed. So as I said, check it out, if, if that bothers you, check it out after release day, after the patch, and just see what you think. And is that our bus stop? Uh, let's have a look. This is the map. Indeed it is. So how do we... Was I meant to do a turn here? 
How do I get in there? Okay, this is really dodgy. Let me come out with the bus and have a look. Alright, I can probably go in there and tell us what's going on. Maybe this bus stop is for going in the opposite direction only. It did let us put it in the planner, but anyway, we'll do that. We'll do it. We we'll, should be in this booth. In okay. The people though are standing on the right hand side, aren't they? Which suggests that um, we've only got one door and that is on the right hand side, so that suggests I'm in the right place. Everybody's getting on. It's fine. Some people are still stood outside. Is that the issue with uh, with it being full? They may have to wait for the next one. They're all moving away from the bus. Let's just wait a second. Because you can get a penalty at the end for leaving passengers behind. It's just that one lady who is stood right next to the bus. Maybe she's waving off a friend. If that's the case, then we're fine. We need to uh, We need to get moving. Gotta not hit these people and also not. Okay, I went over something. Can you imagine doing this? Oh, it was a traffic cone I went over, but didn't see that. Aren't you doing this in one of the bigger buses? Anyway, we're back on the way. It's quite an enjoyable run actually so far, this. I don't think it's going to take us the 54 minutes that it said. So... Roughly guessing, I wonder if it's sort of uh, five times, what it tells us is five times the amount of real time. I'll need to sit and work that out. Told us 54 minutes, we'll have to see how long it takes by the time we get there. Now, I wonder if there is a, a zoom, because I'd like to be closer to the bus from this angle. I wonder if there's a zoom control. I'll try and find that out. Uh, now we've got a guy really impatient behind us. He's obviously a local. He's sick of these buses. We're not going to let him put us off, because it's quite treacherous around here. But I'm going to go back into the actual bus. you want to see both angles you get a good view of the map when you're outside of course you want to see the actual driving so we've got another roundabout coming up slowly break let's go straight onto the roundabout there's a bmw x5 in front even though it isn't This is Unreal Engine, so I'm assuming all the cars and, and whatnot are just standard assets within that. Just on the left. So that curb that we've seen flickering on every roundabout, I'm assuming that would be part of the, the scenery pop. I think it's all related, isn't it? Oh, we're actually at Grand Terra Hell. This is Grand Terra Hell, the, the Grand Beaches. So this was our destination. So it hasn't taken us long at all, has it, to uh, to get down here? I'm going to turn in front of this guy. 
This is where a small bus comes in very well. These types of roads, as you can see. Got a VW over there on the right. So you can see there's a certain amount of exploration as well when you first begin. You'll get used to the towns the more you run your uh, routes. But you could potentially go into the scenario planner if you just want, if you're not interested in career mode. You could just go into the scenario planner and set up various different routes covering all parts of the island and just run those every time with the different buses. Um, is anybody getting off there? Am I not in the. Because I noticed it's very um, particular about where you park. So you have to make sure you're really in the in the grid. You see everyone's there you go. Everybody's now appealing. So it's asking me about doing the return route, which we took off in our planner. So um, I'm not sure why it's asking us that. But obviously this is the time now where it said in that in the box there you can either take a 10 minute break or you can immediately turn around and do the return journey. So that's good. So, but that, that's our journey. Let's flick back to the map and we'll look what we did. So it said 54 minutes. Um, we went from the left, where's north? Does it tell us north? doesn't tell us north Let, let's imagine let's imagine that Coralejo at the top is north um, so we went west to sort of uh, southeast didn't we um, so you get an idea of scale this kind of distance is represented um, as 54 minutes in the game um, but it obviously wasn't 54 minutes but it was a really good run um, I hope you got to see a little bit more of the map. We'll do a few more of these short ones, but we are going to do the big one. We're going to do the big one that runs down the middle, but I'm going to try and do a series where I can cover some of these um, these places that we've got, because quite a few stops. I want to know what these places are that are not named. We've obviously got places here that come to a sort of terminus and, and come back out again. I don't know why that is. Unless there's something to go and see there, because you can get out of the cab. You can uh, pick up points of interest as well on foot, different beaches, etc. Um, there are items to pick up as well. Um, in career mode, I don't know if you noticed in career mode, but back at our, our depot, right next to where we parked the Range Rover, as I'm calling it, there is a, a buggy there, like a, like a sort of sand dune buggy which needs some repair and if you go to that and click on it it tells you you can pick up the parts as you travel around the map so there are obviously things we can you know some kind of collectibles or similar uh, car parts that we can pick up and eventually i'm assuming we're, we're able to restore that sand buggy back at base so all these points are worth exploring so you could set a waypoint to for example you could set a waypoint down here um but once you're there, you can then travel to these to these further points, even though they don't have bus stops that you can add to a route planner. You'll have to free roam along those bits, but that's fine. What we want is a game with lots of playability and lots of things to do, and this this probably could be it. This is a, this is a good one. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It's just a short one today. I wanted you to have another look um, in a different bus but also get a feel for the distance, coast to coast, and um, have a look at a bit more of the scenery, and uh, you can be making your minds up um, whether this is something you you will pick up. I know a lot of you said in the comments that you do plan to pick it up, and that's, that's excellent to see. So I'm pleased about that. Hope these videos have been of use to you. Let me know if there's anything you want to see, and we can cover that. Um, as I said, we will do a separate one on the settings, because I think that's probably important to have a look at before release day and um yeah that's it for today i'll be back soon thanks for watching as always leave me a like leave me a sub always appreciate that and i'll catch you on the next one bye for now